Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I um, have a palette that actually came out last year that I did a look with, and I thought I'd go ahead and show it to you. Started with Elf Halo Glow, and this is in the fair one. And then I did go ahead and use some of the Revolution Skin Silk, and this one's in F2. And I mixed in a little bit of the Lumi Glotion, and this one is in 902. I think it's their lightest shade. And then um, as far as what I went ahead and did for the cheeks, went ahead and used the Wet n Wild, and this is from the Nightmare Before Christmas, the Bear Lift Scares. And so that's what I have on for the cheeks. I did go ahead and use some of the ColourPop. And so this is the Flexitarian. And oops, yeah, I'm just about done. In fact, I think I'm just about the last flake right here. So, yeah, this is Flexitarian um, by ColourPop, and it's one of their cult favorites. And, um, yeah, I just had a flake fall, but um, I kept on saying, oh, I have one or two more uses left, and now I'm really to the point where I have one or two more uses left. So did go ahead and use that all up, and I think that's the actual first time that I've actually used the entire pan completely up. So, you know, they're first for everything. Hmm. Let's see, as far as what I did for the lips, again, I used Spiral of Scares, and then I used a little bit of the Metaglow by Essence, so I had these two on. And I did go ahead and use the Essence, and this one is the Make Me Brow, to go ahead and do the brows. Used a little bit of the Lash Without Limits by Essence and the Essence Volume Stylist to go ahead and do the uh, mascara today. Uh, things falling over. And then I did go ahead, there we go, and use the Haunted Palette. And this is by Gourmand Girls. And this one was actually, I think it's still on sale over on their website if you want to go ahead and pick it up. It came out last year, but I didn't get it until this year. And it's a really pretty palette, uh, this way that it looks. And this is an indie makeup company, so you do have to order off their website. They aren't in stores. Um, I did go ahead and use, let's see, this one on my crease today. I went ahead and did the burgundy on the outside of the eye. And then I did go ahead and use, uh, this is my shimmer on the outer part of the lid, and then this is a shimmer uh, right on the inner part of the lid, and I think it came out real cute. I also went ahead and used this for my eyeliner as well, and uh, the palette is just really pretty and sparkly, and it's actually lighter than um, some of the Halloween palettes, so I think you could actually be able to get a whole bunch of good looks out of it, uh, just because it doesn't go as dark as some of the other palettes do. Uh, but the glitters are all duochrome and multichromes, and it, the formula, the matte formula is really nice to work with. So here's the way that the eye look came out. And it is very shiny. And um, I will go ahead and get you some swatches and be right back. Okay, so here are the swatches. And yeah, it does have a whole bunch of pink and purple colors. It has some greens in there as well. And um, actually with the burgundy and the greens, that's a really big uh, color combination this year in fashion. So um, you would definitely be able to do some of those looks with this palette. And like I said, the formula is really nice. There's a lot of pigment. It blends really easy. And um, yeah. I think that's probably the whole review. Again, a uh, really cute uh, palette by Gourmand Girls. And if you want to, um, I think their sale is still going on. So, yeah, it's a fun one to pick up. And have a good day. Bye.